hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux version 2023.3 on vmware now the first thing we have to do is download and install vmware and to do that head to your browser and then search for vmware now scroll down and you can see this page heading to vmware.com click on it okay so up here in the menu click on products and then scroll down under desktop hypervisors you should see workstation player so click on workstation player and it should take you down here you can see vmware workstation player now click on download for free and then select the latest version over here vmware currently 17.0.2 click on go to downloads by the side here and then you can select for either Windows or Linux. In this case, we are downloading VMware for Windows. So click on download now and it should start downloading. I already have this file downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now the next thing we have to download is Kali Linux installer image file. And to do that, head to a new tab and then search for Kali Linux. Now click on the first page over here, heading to Kali.org. And then click on the download button on the screen okay so we need the installer image for kali linux so click on installer image and it should bring it down here now this is the 64-bit version and this is the 32-bit version but we need the 64-bit version so make sure it is selected and then download the complete offline installation with customization over here the size is about four gigabytes which is not that huge now after downloading we can close our browser and then open our download folder first let's install vmware by double clicking on it now click on finish so we are done installing vmware let's open it now we are going with use vmware workstation 17 player for free so just click on continue finish and we've successfully installed vmware now click on create a new virtual machine let's select install disk image file iso and then browse for your kali linux installer file we downloaded which is now download folder select it over here open and then next set the guest operating system to linux and then set the version to ubuntu 64 bits next now we can give you whatever name we want in this case i'm going to call it kali linux 23.2 sorry dot three and then this is the location where everything will be stored now you could change this if you want but i'm actually okay with where it is currently now let's next set the maximum disk size you're giving to kali linux in this case i'm going to give it about 50 gigabytes but anything above 20 gigabytes should be fine now we could either store virtual disk as a single file or we can split it into multiple files which is actually recommended now let's click on next and then we can click on customize hardware okay so this is where you set how much ram you want to allocate to your virtual machine now i have 16 gigabytes of ram on my pc so i'm going to give it about 4 gigabytes of ram which should be fine you shouldn't give anything above 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer now the same thing with the processor i'm going to give it three cores since I have 8 cores on my PC and for the display you can set it to auto detect make sure you enable 3D graphics once we set these things we can close and then click on finish now click on play virtual machine to start the installation hit enter to proceed with graphical install Now select a language for the installation and continue. I'm going with English. Set your country and region. Continue. Set your keyboard layout, your keyboard format. Continue. Now 
Now for the host name, we can leave it as Kali Continue. Domain name, leave it empty unless you have a domain name you want to actually set up there. Continue. Full name for this user, I'm going to call it Everything Tech. Continue. And then the username which we're going to use to log in. Continue. Choose a password as well. Continue. Now select your time zone and continue. Now this is where we select how we want Kali Linux to be installed on the disk we are located earlier. Now we are going with guided which is going to use the entire disk and then partition it by itself. So select guided, use entire disk and then continue. Select the disk over here, you can see 53.7 gigabytes. Continue. All files in one partition. Yes, let's continue with that. Continue. And then finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Continue. Write changes to the disk. Yes. Continue. Now it should take few minutes to install the base system. Then we can select our desktop environment and it should begin the full installation which should take about 20 minutes. It all depends on your PC hardware and how much resources you are located to your virtual machine. Ok so this is where we select the desktop environment we want to use with Kali Linux. By default it is set to Xface which I actually like but you could switch to either GNOME or KDE Plasma whatever you like but in this case I'm going to go with Xface which is the default environment and then continue. Now select ES to install Grub Bootloader to our primary drive and then continue. Select our drive over here dev sda continue and that is all. Installation complete. Now click on continue to reboot into Kali Linux. Login with your username and password. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on VMware. It is really easy and shouldn't take you up to 30 minutes. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.